Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Rich here on this Thursday morning. It's the 28th day of March. This uh, month is almost shot, right? And a chilly morning out there this morning. I may not be wearing a jacket, but you should be wearing a jacket. Uh, as I make this here at 4 o'clock in the morning, it's uh, 41 degrees in Montgomery, and I see some other locations. 39 seems to be a popular uh, temperature at many central Alabama locations. And with two and a half hours to go until sunrise, uh, it's going to get colder than this. But you'll be shedding the jackets this afternoon as we get into the 70s. I will tell you about an amazing warm-up today, tomorrow, and Saturday. We also have a weekend storm system to talk about. I have the latest on timing on the showers and thunderstorms coming into the state. The Storm Prediction Center has chimed in on who could see severe weather in our region uh, over the weekend. And plus, there's an early week storm system in the Gulf of Mexico. How will it affect us? Well, it depends on which model you believe. A cool morning this morning with 40s all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Then it gets even colder as you get into the Carolinas and farther up the East Coast. But a nice recovery this afternoon. I think we get into the 70s. There's that storm that terrorized Florida yesterday. Now into the Bahamas and moving away. What a day that was in the Sunshine State. And for us, sunshine today with a high temperature up to about 73. Not quite as chilly tonight. Overnight low 46. An easterly breeze 6 to 12. I think we're warmer tomorrow. Nice day. High in the upper 70s with High pressure along the southeastern coast by then. Saturday um, it should be up to about 80 degrees for a high temperature. Maybe a late day shower. I have a 20% chance in. Then a better chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday night uh, into as that front approaches the state. And the Storm Prediction Center says some of the storms could be strong, possibly severe, in parts of northwest Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Will the storms be strong by the time they reach us here in central Alabama? We don't know yet. This is Sunday morning at 7 a.m. It appears that it might be a weakening front by then. And then there's Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock with the front uh, down to about Apalachicola. Maybe some showers early in the day Sunday before we start to dry out. Then early next week is a big question mark. This is the GFS showing a storm system south of us Monday, teasing us with a few showers. But uh, the timing is different on the other global model. The European shows a substantial storm system near the Mobile Bay on Tuesday with a good chance of rain here in Alabama. And that becoming a more important system as it moves along the southeastern coast on Tuesday evening and Tuesday night and eventually a stronger system up the coast. So we'll have to watch that. 78, the high tomorrow, a very nice day. I think we're near 80 Saturday. The rain chance is very small during the day. 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday night uh, into Sunday. Much cooler Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday are big question marks on the rain chances. Uh, that's subject to review, and we'll continue to watch that. Meanwhile, the GFS uh, shows the, cooler, the much cooler air coming in early next week, including a couple of chilly mornings before it warms up again late week. This is the beach forecast. A little cool down there. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe a chance of showers and thunderstorms by Sunday. But uh, the Gulf water temperature now is at 66. All in all, not a bad uh, weekend forecast. Maybe some showers be as you're leaving on Sunday. Very high on the pollen count today, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Still no relief uh, for the next several days. And on a personal note for me, uh, ever since I was a little kid, this day is a big deal. It's opening day in Major League Baseball with 15 games around the country and umps yelling, play ball. And uh, the, uh, by the way, the Biscuits start their home opener in about 13 days from now. We're live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, Jay, Emily, and a little dog who is, oh, she's in the picture right there. Uh, her name is Bailey, and she's also part of the gang. And I'll be talking weather with uh, meteorologist Ryan Stinnett on CBS 8 and ABC 32, the Alabama News Network, at uh, 5.50 a.m. And our morning crew and their morning crew always interact in a very interesting way uh, in that segment that we do at 6.40. If you've ever seen it, you know what we're talking about. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning as we update the weekend forecast and your forecast across the dial on this beautiful day, uh, twice an hour on the entire Blue Water family of stations. Maybe I'll see you at the park today. I'll be the one walking a dog. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.